Hello Scopers, how are you? I'm just turning this this way to show you that today, this morning, hey Rio, how are you? How's it going? Um, this is my office. I just want to show you everyone my office. You will, as I said this morning, you will see a lot of Marie Osmond around here. Um, this is my office. This morning I made a pledge I was going to clean my office and it is clean. I reorganized all of this stuff. I have this paper, um, papers here to deal with. I even freaking found a check, it was only for $16, but that I didn't even know of. I found an order for my cards that I, you know, and it was all because I decided to take some action today to clean up my, <laughs> my um, office. And I really here, let me just stick this up here. Oh, I didn't turn this light on. Hold on a second, everyone. Hold on, hold on. Um, so, hi everyone, great to see you. Um, hi, Moon Joan. Um, listen, my hair's still crazy. If you were here this morning, you know that, I was gonna turn this this way, whoa. Um, that we were talking about all the things you love, how to raise your vibration, and I wanted to talk today about, I mean, right now, I was showing you my office before, because, and welcome to all you new people. Uh, my name is Max Ryan. Because one thing that I've been teaching Law of Attraction, I work with it every day. I, I understand how to really attract whatever I want in my life. Sorry, this um, I have this taped onto my... <laughs> so hold on. Um, so the, with the Law of Attraction, what you want to do is you have to take action. You know, the word action is in Law of Attraction. And if you really want to attract things into your life that, you know, like the career, like the job, like the guy, like the girl, um, or whatever it is that you want, you have to take action. Now, I don't know if you ever watched The Secret or not. It was a very popular movie. But the one thing that they did not <laughs> kind of talk about in The Secret was when you just focus on something it doesn't necessarily just come into your life. What you need to do is you have to take inspired actions. Hey, Alex White, thanks for, for coming. Um, and, and, and anyone, welcome to, to the, to the um, scope. Um, you can type in any questions. And actually, tell me where you're all from. I'd like to know that. Um, one of the things that we don't talk about, well, it's not talked a lot about in Law of Attraction circles. Hey, hey, Alex in Texas, great to see you. Um, is the element of action of moving we are attracting everything into our lives all the time that's for sure but the problem is most people think it's a magic cure and you're just going to focus on it and it's just going to come well that's really not exactly hey hey mark um hey uh, i didn't see that who who that last person was but welcome everyone um, um, so, so the problem is that we don't, we just learn these couple things about using your mind and focusing, which is so important. Hey, Jess, Jess Lindsay, great to see you too. Um, but they don't, you know, a lot of people do not talk about taking actions. Um, one teacher, I'm sorry, I have to keep moving this because it keeps moving. I will get a better holder soon. Um, is that one of my, uh, guys I've worked with, Mike Dooley, he's great. He talks about pitches to the universe. This is the thing. Thing with the law of attraction we have to take actions because th that is exactly what gives the universe god source law of attraction whatever you call it hey K hey carol great to see you again um it gives it the energy to be like oh you're going in that direction i will help you go in that direction you want that i will help you get to that point does that make sense but if you just sit there and go okay Red car, red car, red car, red car, red car. You know what? You're probably not gonna get the red car. But if you go out into the world and you start talking to people with red cars, if you start to listen, um, start to research about red cars and you do inspired actions that feel good, that feel good or they, they might feel a little bit more neutral. And when they feel that way, those are the kinds of actions you wanna do. You wanna do the actions that always make you feel good or neutral. Almost like, you know what, like um, if you're, you wanna attract, a, um, hmm, you wanna attract a boyfriend or a girlfriend. And so one of the actions you could take is getting on match.com. And so your friends go, get on match.com, get on match.com. Well, inside, in your gut, you go, ugh, ugh, I don't want to do that. Don't do it. 
because that's not the action you should take. That's not the action you should take. You should take an action that feels good or neutral. Where and What is your take on entrepreneurship? You mean about attracting business for yourself? Is that what you mean? I didn't see who, who said that. Please re retype that in or clarify. Yes, Alex. My um, About attracting a business? Is that what you mean? Just type it in and I'll keep talking. <laughs> in scope, you gotta keep talking because otherwise it's kind of boring. You just wanna watch this space. Um, so here's the deal. Move in a direction, take steps that feel good or neutral. I'm gonna move this again, speaking of moving. Um, that's That feel good or if they feel neutral, okay? Don't ever take an action towards your goal that feels like pushing a rock up a hill, okay? Because you're going to associate what you want with something really bad. Starting from scratch, um, progressing throughout and making a name for yourself. Well, you know what? Here's the deal, Alex. You have to stay with your passion. you got to stay with what feels good. Of course, when you're an entrepreneur, speaking of... I have my own business I've had for 10 years. Um, there's going to be challenges, but you have to keep remembering why you're doing it. You have to keep remembering what your passion is. You have to keep always going back to who am I helping? What's the problem I'm solving? And why am I solving that problem? And why am I so good at it? And if you keep doing that, you will move forward. I built a little bit of a name for myself online. Um, and let me tell you, it's, it's worth it. It's worth working hard. Um, Alex, what is it that you want? to do or what you what do you are you in a are you in a negative vibe around your business I'll help you Let, hey I'm a coach that's what I do so I'll coach you right now and I'm sorry about this thing um, so Alex what is it that you need help with specifically I'll coach you this is coaching on call here you know I get paid a lot of money by my <laughs> by my clients and um, if you need anything what, what is it about the entrepreneurship that's not working for you? And I'll, I'll answer that. Anyone else here that has any questions about Law of Attraction, just ask me. But I'm going to come back to this idea about action. When we take action, we beget more action. And I bet you... I bet you, you've taken a lot of actions that have not gotten, gotten results in your life. And many times, that action is be, not giving you results because you're pushing yourself. You're making yourself do something you really don't want to do. Now, l hear me very clearly here. You always are going to have to do things that are a little bit hard. Do you know what I mean? That's not what I'm talking about. I'm like talking about... How do you get your internet idea out there without it getting stolen? Huh? Well, first of all, this is here's the deal. I'm going to tell you this. You, Alex, you have just put the fear of getting it stolen in your vibration bubble. So, what we resist persists and we will attract what we fear. We don't always attract what we want, but a lot of times we will attract what we fear. So you're thinking, oh, don't get stolen. No one steal my idea. No one steal my idea. Guess what will happen? You know, there's legal things you can do to make sure that you, you have an idea that's, that's copyrighted or patented. But I will tell you this. I will tell you this. I do help entrepreneurs um, in the healing business. Some people talk about that. I have to say, you know what? Everything's kind of been done already. Everything's been done, almost. You know, if you're if it's a product that's a little bit different, you have to make sure you patent that. But if it's an information, almost everything's been done. You just have to do it your way, in the way that you do it, so that people will come to you instead of going to Joe Blow down the street. Does that make sense? It's a service, okay? It's a service that that you're giving to people, and you're you're afraid that it's going. Does it make sense to you, Alex? That if you're afraid someone's going to steal it, you're focusing on the fear of stealing, and law of attraction matches that fear of stealing, and you're much more likely to get someone to steal it. So what you want to do is you want to go in knowing that you're okay. You want to go in. I mean, be smart for sure. Get any kind of patents or copyrights or anything that you need to. Definitely do that if that's the kind of thing that you're doing. Yes. Where do I look for investors? Mm. Well, that's not my expertise. That's for sure. Um, I, ha I had an investor in my business at one time, and it was it was great to a point. And then this investor started to kind of want to me to do my business a certain way, and I said, uh, uh, that's not going to work. You know. 
I, I just had a, a friend of mine um, create a whole new product, and she did the Kickstarter route. And boy, oh boy, she found some awesome investors. She created a whole Kickstarter campaign, whatever, Indiegogo, one of those crowdfundings, and that really helped her a lot. That really helped her a lot. Now, um, let me ask you this, Alex, and then we're going to wrap up here. This is really a good conversation for anyone listening because it is about moving forward. So let me ask you this. Can, you can't just start this service on your own without an, an investor, Alex? Because I would just be like, for me, I decided, you know what, I I was doing other kinds of things. And then I decided I wanted to be a coach and I wanted to use my, my knowledge about spirituality and all the years and years and years that I have um, been working with these um with these principles and I and I said, you know, I'm gonna teach people to do it and I just started doing it. You need a computer programmer. Um hey, a computer hi from Turkey, hey, how's it going? Um a computer programmer to create your product? Is that what it is? You want to attract a computer programmer is what you want to do. This is what you're going to do. Oh, I should, you know, hmm. There's something called a contrast, a clarity through contrast worksheet. Create the website. You need someone to create the website? Alex, you can create a website on your own. <laughs> Alex, it's the easiest thing in the world. Go to Weebly.com. I love creating websites. It's really fun for me. A really good photographer photographer app. Hmm. So you got to start attracting that. Start researching photographers. Um, I didn't see your name. It just went away. Um, but listen, I know you're not maybe going to want to do this. But go to Elance.com. Elance is an outsourcing um, service that helps you to bid on jobs for somebody to do your website for inexpensive. If you don't want to go to Weebly.com, there's Squarespace.com. You can create a very basic website pretty easily. If you go to AttractPositiveResults.com, well, actually, well, uh, yeah, you know what? Go to AttractPositiveResults.com. That is my um, my website. I created that. I've created a lot of websites for other people. It's a little side business. And I actually, um, I want you to go to TheBizOfHealing.com, B-I-Z. I need a, a board. I should be writing. TheBizOfHealing.com, Alex. If you go to services, you'll see graphics and you'll see um, different websites. I created all those websites, and they're easy. They're not that hard. I like doing that kind of stuff. But if you don't, go to elance.com, elance.com, and get um, and bid on a job for, for a web designer, and you can get people from all over the world helping you for really in, inexpensive, really inexpensive. I feel like I need to write this down really quickly, and then I'll um, uh, hold on. Um, let me just do this real quick. Um, where's a piece of paper? Um, oh, shoot. Okay, hold on. Um, let me write this down. Oh, so anyone else here have questions about law of attraction? About attracting a certain thing? We're not going to go into every single um, thing about but this is about... Today was about the action in law of attraction. What kinds of actions you can take. My connection's poor? Hmm... Sorry. It, seem, it seems like it's okay right now. Um, the biz of healing.com. Okay, I'm just going to show this. The biz of healing.com. Okay? All right. So, anyone else, you can, um, anyone else have any questions? All right. Please follow me. I'm going to start a series of accountability. Um, do I read? Yes, I read. <laughs> yes, I read. Um, what does that mean, Alex? Um, I'm going to start a series of accountability scopes so that we can um, create um, accountability. What book recommendations? Oh, my goodness. On my site, attractpositiveresults.com. Hold on. I'm going to get this. This will make it easier. This is my site, attractpositiveresults.com, okay? There is a, I have a whole list of books there. 
a whole list of books there, okay? Um, so you can check that out. Um, anything anyone wants to say about a law of attraction? Or ask me. All right, good. Um, I'm going to be creating a, um, an accountability scopes so people can be accountable for taking action and then come back during the day or the next day and then report back to um, to us and to the group what you did and how you did it. I think accountability is one of, and as an entrepreneur, Alex, listen, it's all about that. It's all about saying I'm doing this and this and this and getting it done and have, being accountable for it if you don't have a coach or a mentor already. Um, so, um, Say yes if you all might be interested in doing that because it keeps you on track and I'll, we'll try it for a week and see how it goes. I saw the little heart. Thank you for the heart. Thank you for the heart. Okay. All right, everyone. Um, I'm going to take off. Alex, thank you. So, thanks for that other heart. <laughs> I'm going to take off. So um, please follow me. We do, um, in the morning, we do um, gratitude avalanches or love avalanches and things to raise your vibration. Raise your vibration. So um, please stay in touch with me. Have a wonderful day. And um, I will talk to you really soon. Alex, definitely um, check me out and send me a note on the contact page at attractpositiveresults.com and I'll help you out. Okay, have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later.